What's going on y'all? Little Mountain Gardener here. Welcome to the channel. Today I figure I'll bring y'all along as I actually prune my muscadine vines. So 100% full disclosure before we even get into this video. This is not a how-to video. This is how I do video. So let's just make that clear right now. I'm not going to tell you that this is the right way to do it, wrong way to do it. This is how I do it. So as you can see behind me, we have our muscadine vine back here and there's no way to know what cultivar of muscadine this is um when we first bought this property my wife and i we actually inherited this this vine on here so it's just been sitting up here it wasn't kept up with or anything like that so last year was the first year that i actually pruned this uh, muscadine vine and last year was actually the first year in, in five years that we actually even got any fruit off there now given that the fruit were only about marble size I said, and I didn't do anything else to it but prune it. I didn't fertilize it. I didn't water it. Nothing. It just sat there and did it its own thing by itself. I say that's pretty good. I mean, anytime that you don't have to do anything to it and you still get fruit off of it, hey, I'm all with that. So, like I said, with that being said, what I need to do is I'm going to step out the way real quick so you can kind of see. But I got to come back here and actually prune all this stuff out of here. So for y'all that don't know, muscadines actually grow fruit off their new growth. So that means that the muscadine vines can actually be actually pruned fairly hard. Um, you want to prune them back to like two to three buds. Some people say three to four buds. All depends. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do about, probably about two, three buds. So y'all, let me bring y'all in close so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. So y'all, now that we're up close... As you can see, the actual last year's growth has a more amber color to it. And with that being said, as you can see, this right here is what we consider a node. So whenever I'm cutting this back, I'm going to cut all last year's growth back to about three or four nodes before the previous year's growth. And the way that you can tell the previous year's growth is if you look up here, you can see that see how this growth right here has more of a grayish color so i'm gonna cut this one back to say one two three so i'll probably cut it like right here or you can cut it to two nodes however you want to do it like i said me personally i'll probably cut it right here and then i'll cut this one to either here or here and as you can see this muscadine growth can be actually fairly vigorous. If I'm looking down this fence line, you can see that it grew almost all the way down to this green post right here. I know it's probably hard to see on video. Let me see if I can zoom in on there. But you can see it right up in here. And that's a good 10 foot away from the actual main vine. Like I said, you can prune them back fairly hard. And I shouldn't have, to be honest, I shouldn't have let all that grow. I should have pruned that off when I first saw it. So with that being said, let's start to get to cutting. So I'm back on this one right here. So I'm gonna prune it back to this node right here. Because one, I don't want the tendril that is wrapped around this one right here. This is probably dead anyway, just by the way it looks. So I'm gonna cut that off anyway. But I didn't want the tendrils to choke out my vine. So I'm gonna cut it back to there. So one of the things that I did do is I actually cleaned my actual pruners with alcohol before we got started. And just so you can see what I'm going to do, I'll do one more kind of up close and then I'm going to just go ahead and start hacking away at this. So like I said, as you can see, this right here is like a lot of dark gray, but then all this right here is new growth. So I'm going to cut it back to this node right here. I can go back a little bit further, but I'm going to just cut it right there. And then 
also on this one all this is new growth i got a, a node right here i got a node on the other side and a node right here so that's three nodes i'm gonna just cut it back right here and that's all it is to it i'm gonna go ahead and just start going at it y'all So y'all, after pruning, let me show y'all what it wound up looking like. So y'all, I pruned it back pretty heavily. Like I said, cut everything back, hopefully back to one to two nodes. Um, you can come back and find prune it after you're done if you want to. I think I'm happy with the way it turned out, the way it's looking. Hopefully I get some more fruit reduction out of it this year right here. I think this year right here, I'm actually going to try to actual fertilize it and see what it does. See if I can get some bigger fruit out of it and everything. Hey, girl. So, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope to see y'all next time. And thank y'all for watching. See you next time. Bye.